Hello, welcome to Briar Gaming. Class 43 HST run from Paddington to Reading using the new diesel acceleration physics modelling that were released on the 2nd of February, I believe. Um, there have been some significant changes to the way that this train behaves and performs. So let's see what we can see. So as you will have probably already noticed, and I turned the train supply on then, the engine revs got higher um, and increased as the, the ETH was increased and the demand was increased. So we've got the road, um, it's time to depart. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just get our window wipers on so we can actually see where we're going. Right, so we'll take the brakes off. Oh, I didn't put it all the way in the forward, I don't think. I might have the neutral. Alright, so we pull away in notch 2. And as you can see, we're actually moving a lot faster than what we were before. Um, this patch, there is quite, quite a lot of pickup quite quickly. Now, normally a run takes around about well with the old model 25 to 26 minutes maybe slightly longer um, oh no we've got a red signal so we'll just come to a stand for a moment while we wait the, uh, the aspect to clear Everything is rolled back to red, so I'm not entirely sure what uh, has occurred here. But as you can see, the game has given us 30 minutes to get to Reading. So nothing else has changed, um, just that the engine has been reworked slightly in the way that it applies traction. got the amount of coaches that it said it would have. No, it's only got the six coaches. Right, we've got we've now got the road. So we release the brakes. We're generating our amps once the brakes release. We shall start to move. There we go. Now HST in real life does slowly accelerate um, up to around about 45 mile an hour. So again this is an accurate representation. We're going to notch 3 at about 5 just to give us that little bit of a push. Now we are under a 40 mile an hour speed limit coming out of Paddington which increases to 50 shortly afterwards. So we're not going to be really putting our foot down until we're, we're well clear of sort of Ladbroke Grove and everything like that. Again, you can hear that the engine notes are slightly changed, they're slightly louder, um, and the speed is increasing a lot quicker than what it used to do. Put it in notch five and wait and hope that the train actually moved. drive slightly under the speed limit for our, our journey out just so that we when we actually can accelerate you can see the difference and how quickly the speed does pick up now I did try this last night um, and 
got from Re uh, Paddington to Reading in 22 minutes with a clear run but I didn't, I was slowing down as I was going down the route so it'll be interesting to see what this route holds as we're already getting restricted signals coming out of Paddington but you will notice that there is quite a lot of pop in now um, I'm unsure why but we're only getting one gantry at a time spawning in which to me is a step backwards, but then again the route does feel a little bit better. So I will be flagging that to the relevant people and the relevant places. Right, we have got a red signal again, so we will just slow ourselves down towards that red. now cleared and we've got the number one route indicator which means we are going to be going across where that HST has just come from onto the down down lane quite busy heading into Paddington on this route that, on this run this morning across this point work and then we're on to green signalling hopefully fingers crossed for our run down to Reading main line now <coughs> uh, around about 85 90 which again is from what I understand a realistic speed to be at normally we'd be doing about 75 there before the update and just because there's 125 mile an hour ball next to the track to say that the speed is 125 mile an hour 
it doesn't mean the train is instantly going to warp its speed up to that. It's just an indicator to the driver that the, the driver is clear to run at that speed should it be attainable. It's the maximum permissible line speed for a section of the track. It doesn't mean you're going to get to it, and it doesn't mean that you're instantly going to get to, or should be approaching it when you get to that speed board. It's just an indicator that you're, you're authorised to run at that. Now we're at 100 at Ealing Broadway. miles to Reading and 23 minutes to do it. We're going to be very early unless we have some signalling to, to slow us down. is a run on an Xbox Series X. So it may be that because I'm running at 60 frames a second with quite low frame timing and we're actually seeing the game running a little bit too quick for itself. at Hayes and Harlington. Again, that might be because the train is short formed. It might be because, like I say, I'm playing on more powerful hardware than your, your standard Xbox. Xbox One S. regulate the throttle to keep us at 125 it's not like it used to be where you'd get to 125 and it'd stay there on its own you've now got to 
regulate yourself to make sure that you stay at 125. some reason this is six so that may have another effect on the speed because you're lighter As you can see, the, the train wants to go faster, but we are now limited by the 125. Reading at 8.17, we're going to be there about 8.10 I think, maybe 8.12, but we're going to be early. Yes, we're going to have to slow down considerably when we get to Reading to go in, but it's not going to cost us a lot of time. be a shortage of Mark 3 carriages at the moment. That's another six car plus two power cars and eight car train got past us. Right, you can see Notch 4 is holding us at 125. No need for full power once you get there. We're chewing up those miles. Again, another six car two power cars or an eight. Again people have been complaining that that's not prototypical but this is a game at the end of the day. If this game was a proper simulator after you would be able to drive it. There's a safety system to take you out left right and centre.
Right, so we're now climbing up again out of towards Reading. Yeah, we've, we've started to to creep to 126 in four notch four, so we power back to notch three. Now, yes, I've not done a running brake test, but we, we're going towards those red signals, so I've taken that as my uh, my brake test. Again, we'll increase to notch four. WS4. So let's see if we can prevent that. With the use of the trains TPWS brake override. That button there. As I know which grid it is, I should be able to stop it from triggering, unless it applies it no matter what, and then we'll uh, draw forward towards the red. But we're seven miles from Reading now, with 11 minutes left to go on our timed run. Popping isn't so bad when there's no OLE, I've just noticed. So the OLEs for what was popping in way too soon. But with this, there's very little in the way of popping now. Right, we're now getting towards the outskirts of Reading. I am just going to lift off, we're going to coast towards Reading now. <coughs> just to start to naturally bring the speed of the train down. off a little bit more speed there with that brake application however we are approaching a 95 which was what that warning was for we're at 94 now so again we're just going to coast our way in so we do have the 60 shortly after the 95 and breaks into initial as we are now on to restrict aspect signal 
this signal should be at two yellows. Unless something's gone drastically wrong with the signaling system. Yep, so there we go, two yellows. Half a mile to our 60. Which we are already breaking for. Because we want to be at that speed limit before we actually get there. Again, restrictive signalling, we're at 55 now, approaching the single yellow. The red will be at the end of the platform, I believe it's 9, platform 9 we're going into. So again, we want to be at 50 for the point work going into the station, so we'll continue to slow down, we'll continue to have our brakes in as it is raining as well. Here we go, we're uh, coming into the dreaded platform here. brake application in just a second. Yeah, there you go, there's the emergency brake application. But I don't think the rear of the train is in the platform. Oh no. Just short, so we'll unlock the doors. But there you go, folks. There is the bug for the TPWS grid and platform 9. Reporting it yet again. But that shows you the, the high speed run from, from Paddington to Reading, and we've done that in, well, we're five minutes early. There's something not right there, personally. Put the brakes into full service, release them back to two. We, we can't build a brake and move yet because there we go. The demand has stopped. There isn't anything you can do about that demand, it just happens. Whatever reason it's that TPS, TPWS grid there on that magnet. As there is no other grids that we've got there. Alright, well thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again tomorrow for Southeastern High Speed. Take care.